Cresco Labs just made a big acquisition, and cannabis companies are pushing for banking reform in the midterms. This is Gary with Verahill, keeping you up to date on the latest in cannabis news. Cresco Labs acquired Columbia Care Incorporated in a $2 billion purchase, giving them access to new markets and putting Chicago at the center of the legal marijuana industry. The companies together will operate in 18 states. Both Cresco and Columbia Care are listed in Canada as marijuana remains illegal at the federal level and U.S. stock exchanges do not allow companies that grow or sell a plant to list their shares. Two plans the City of Denver are pushing to boost business are not gaining interest, unfortunately. No marijuana tasting rooms or common alcohol consumption zones have opened since the city legalized both last year. Part of the problem is the lengthy application process that can take between six to nine months. Other factors include pains from the pandemic, labor shortages, inflation, and a lack of federal relief funding. The strict restrictions and requirements also make it difficult to attain the licenses as well. Social equity applicants are at the top of the list, but applicants say a restrictive zoning rule that bans marijuana businesses from being within 1,000 feet of each other or close than 1,000 feet to schools is also hindering their ability to break into the industry. Cannabis companies are pushing lawmakers to get a cannabis banking reform bill to President Joe Biden's desk before midterms. Fears of a Republican takeover dooming the bill are looming. However, with Kentucky's recent bill approval and growing bipartisan support, it remains possible regardless of what party is in control of Congress. More than 20 chief executives of top cannabis companies urge lawmakers in both parties to pass the Safe Banking Act. The Safe Banking Act would enable legally operating cannabis firms to use banking services and credit cards. This would reduce crime as large amounts of cash in dispensaries are prime targets for burglaries and armed robberies. So go ahead and like this video and give us a follow at Very Hill to stay up to date on the latest in cannabis news. Thanks for watching.